Farberware Microwave Model FM011A HTPLB Repairs Farberware Classic FM011A HTPLB 1.1 CU Fort 1000 Watt Microwave Oven, White and Platinum Repairs For the home, kitchen and beyond, Farberware manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair, however. If you're in need of Farberware appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. If the microwave key panel is not responding or working properly, make sure that the microwave is plugged into a grounded outlet. It must be a three-prong outlet. Make sure the clock is set. Check to see if a programming sequence was entered. Sometimes improper programming or a program sequence such as delay start can cause the touch panel to be non-responsive. Unplug microwave or turn off house circuit breaker for 30 seconds. Plug back in or reset circuit breaker and try reprogramming unit. Check the house circuit breaker. If the microwave is dead and there is no display and nothing works the problem could be a blown fuse or tripped breaker. My microwave turntable does not turn. Make sure the turntable is centered and seated properly. On models with a stirrer motor there is a shaft protruding up through the floor of the microwave. Make sure the turntable is securely fastened to this shafit. On models that turn on a ring with wheels attached, make sure the turntable is seated securely on the ring. Check the turntable to make sure it is placed right side up. If the turntable plate is upside down it will drag on the floor of the microwave. Check to make sure that there is no food or debris under the wheels of the turntable ring. Food can prevent the wheels from moving forward. Be certain you are pressing a cook function rather than a timer function. If the microwave has a turntable on-off feature make sure the turntable was not inadvertently turned off. My microwave has an order. First time usage of a microwave may produce some smoke. This is typically a very small amount and is perfectly normal. An electrical odor in new machines can be normal because the electronic board is curing as the circuit board material is heated for first few uses. On microwave convection models, dust particles can accumulate on the convection element and burn off when in use producing a small amount of smoke. Once dust has been burned off, the smoke will dissipate. Clean up spatters and spills as they occur. We recommend washing the interior with baking soda or a non-abrasive detergent and letting it dry. We recommend leaving the door open for 2-3 hours when the microwave is not in use to let the microwave air out. Some extreme odors like fish or burned popcorn may take several days to wear away. If the odor persists, we recommend you try one of the following. Mix 6 tablespoons of baking soda and 1 cup of water or mix a solution of 1-2 cup lemon juice and 1 cup of water. Place either solution in a microwave-safe dish of appropriate size and heat for 2-3 to three minutes on high power. How should microwave ovens be cleaned? To minimize the possibility of electric shock, Unplug the microwave from the power supply before attempting any maintenance or cleaning. Most spills and splatters in the microwave clean up easily with a damp, soapy paper towel or sponge. It is best to clean soil as soon as it appears. Use a mild dishwashing liquid and damp cloth or paper towel. Baking soda and water may be used on any interior type. Cleaners designed for cleaning interiors of microwave ovens. Heat one cup of water on full power for three minutes. The heat and steam help to soften the food. After the three minutes, allow five additional minutes of stand time. Then, clean as usual. A plastic pad or scrubber can be used. Do not use commercial oven cleaners, abrasive cleaners, or cleaners containing ammonia or bleach which can make the plastic brittle on any part of the microwave. My microwave runs but doesn't heat. Make sure the timer function was not inadvertently used. Check to ensure the door is closed firmly. 
close it firmly, but do not slam. This confirms the engagement of the door's safety mechanisms.